to meet you, Steve. Very good to meet you. Yeah. It's an enormous privilege and honour to have Archbishop Justin with us for these three days. As you know, he's doing a, a, a wide range of visits and engagements which show how blessed we are with the kind of opportunities for outreach and for witness and for worship. So it's great we're gathered here, and I'm going to ask Archbishop Justin to offer us a few words. When I was uh, in my parish in, in, in Warwickshire, I had a very good church warden, um, and uh, I was a member of the local rotary, and the rotary was great, and they did superb work, and we worked very closely as a parish with them, and all kinds of local projects. But one day the church hall, we were talking about something, and he said, you need to remember, Justin, that the church is not the rotary with a pointy roof and funny clothes. <laughs> and I know that areas like this, uh, the church is one of the absolute essential parts, but it only works when it works in partnership. Otherwise, it becomes pointy roof and some strange habits and some odd people, and that's about it. But when it operates in partnership, in the grace of God, we unleash all the incredible things that um, I was reading about are going on here. The church, the groups here, our social engagement as Christians, our social engagement, when I say the church, I mean all, all those who, who are disciples of Christ, the, uh, our social engagement as normal human beings of any faith and no faith, our care for those who have been, in some sense, abandoned, and for communities and regions that have been abandoned, mm -hmm. is something that needs to be reasserted in a really passionate way. We mustn't become habituated. That's my first point. My second point is that, therefore, as partners in working with people in regions like this. We also have to keep a sense of divine anger about inequality and divine desire to see the world change. Areas like this are ones where the only way in which the church can speak prophetically and any other organization, the ones represented here, can speak prophetically and powerfully in our world is because we are working here with people, not to them. At Christmas, we sing, O come, O come, Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. It doesn't mean God to us. He doesn't do things to us. He comes to be with us. It is the crucial understanding that we have as Christians about the nature of God. And if we're going to represent who God is, we do things with, not to, or even for, but with. But my prayer for you is also that as well as those things, that you have that sense of divine desire and anger to see the problems of this kind of place, this area, the abandonment of regions, not always maliciously, but just out of sheer not knowing what to do ness of ignorance, of carelessness, that that is overcome. And we can dream of what it is to be the sort of society that says this is intolerable, we're not going to do it. And it can be those like you and the church who are at the heart of that dream. Thank you very much.